We live in a three-dimensional world, but all the content which we interact with on a daily, weekly basis, or how we operate our lives, is on two dimensions. And this is the first step in allowing society to see content in three dimensions. It's always difficult to describe it, because it's, uh, in a way, it is a first. It is maybe the world's first physically dynamic screen, and I, I like to think that that's, uh, uh, that's a sort of obvious next step as digital technologies come into play, is that information meets form. Being selfish, I would love to take, have a chance to take that and use yeah. for something and yeah. then compete next year. Bringing these things together and saying it's all part of the conversation we need to be having. But it was purely inspiring, you know, thousands of creatives to like think differently or with yeah, a new I medium. Moral wars make yeah. sense, like to yeah. inspire totally. people. Yeah, true. I think we all love the piece. It's clear that it's so cool. Mm -hmm. Just find the technology. Mm -hmm. Someone with a budget and some guts does something with it, and it becomes it. It's a game changer for a, a brand or a location, a city. I think I like Hyposurface because it demonstrates pure possibility. It's, it's a new surface, it's a new canvas for us to, to work with, and it's a new sort of set of parameters and possibilities. All the things that inspire us about technology are kind of inherent inside of it, that we can take something that has traditionally been uh, an either-or choice that it could be sort of physical or it could be in motion and no longer have to make that choice obviously there'll be lots and lots of other choices we need to make uh, but for me it was just inspiring to see it as a as a possible future hyposurface that was a very contentious uh, uh, project uh, which uh, in the beginning we some of us thought maybe it should go into the, uh, uh, the Day After Tomorrow Award um, because it hasn't been quite applied yet. Um, it's just a uh, you know, nascent technology, a prototype, although a really freaking cool prototype. Um, but in the end, when you know, we watched the video, uh, I think multiple times, and you, just, you realize that you know, this is the beginning of you know, the digital world uh, taking form and who knows where that will take us, it kind of landed us like, oh, this has to win a Tomorrow Award. Um, um, uh, it's the possibilities that it represents uh, and the creative ideas that it will inspire uh, once this uh, video gets out there. And, and also, frankly, just you know, support from the industry and the media and companies that might back this thing because the more people you know, see a, a possibility, uh, more energy, more resources go behind it, and more awesome things can come out of it. So it's a bit of an investment, uh, but you know we see huge promise with where this could go in the future. And it doesn't have to be this technology per se, but just the end idea of like the digital taking form um, in our world around us uh, could be huge. Mm -hmm.